Hey guys, what I'm going to be setting up now is the custom authentication records so that um, your emails coming out of MailChimp will be showing as coming from your domain rather than from the MailChimp standard subdomain. Now, this is all probably not your native language, but um, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible to get this set up. And the host that I'm using is Namecheap. So um, within the Namecheap dashboard, if you go to domain list, you find your domain, you'll come to this page, which will actually highlight this tab, domain. So you're clicking on advanced DNS to jump across to find it. So it's one of those things where find your domain, click on to manage it, it'll come across to this tab then click on advanced DNS and you'll come to a section that looks like this. You might have a parking page turned on if you've just purchased a domain name. So you can always um, click the trash button to delete that. Um, I've just got some standard ones set up here for what I'm using this domain for. But I'm going to show you how to take this article, which if you just look up MailChimp custom authentication, um, you'll get taken through to this article. And so what this is saying here is to set up and verify your domain, um, what you're going to need to put in is create a CNAME record for this <laughs> with this value. So what we're going to be doing is copying from here. We go over into here. Now we're in this advanced DNS. We click on it and we click CNAME. Now we're going to put that into host that first part and the second part is the value which we as well copy across with the full stop. Click, add that in, click tick and that has been added. Next one come back, next one, so that was a C name record so I'm not sure if I said just before but we were selecting C name record. For this one we're going to be putting in a text record. Now anytime it says your site.com it just means your, your actual site that you've got so in my case, I've got this superhuman business um, and I'm going to be clicking on add new record and I scroll down in case you miss it. And then I paste this in superhumanbusiness.com as the text record as the first part of it. And the value is this. Copy that. Pop that in there in that second part. So for, for each of these, the first one it goes in that host and the second one goes in the target. All the domain name providers have different names for those. So um, in this case, it's just adding this in as the first part and that in as the second, putting in your domain name as the start and then that part as the second. So I get that. I click the tick button and we're good to go.